Hi Jan, based on your last email, I decided to try a couple more experiments. One of the first things I did is there was not a check valve up here by the manifold. So I did go ahead and use one of your check valves that I had previously ordered and install that there. Next, what I've done also is I've taken out one of the low pressure filters and just hooked up pump number one straight, I don't know if you can see it from the light, straight from the tank uh, up to pump number one. Uh, in case there is some cavitation micro bubbles being developed in the low pressure fuel filters. And from there, again, to verify for myself and for you, is I went ahead and temporarily hooked up just some clear vinyl tubing all the way from the high pressure filter uh, out to the high pressure pump of the engine. I gotta change positions now. So I, of course, primed the line to make sure there was a good flow with absolutely no air bubbles that I can see inside the line. It looks really, really clear to me. I'm not sure how well the video is doing here uh, with, with the lighting situation. So now, after I prime it up and try to crank it a couple of times, the engine is still cold, uh, but with the pump off now for a few minutes, not a long time, it, uh, the maximum pressure I usually get is about 62 or 63. It usually drops down to about 57 or so after I turn the pump off, and it looks like it's holding at about 52 PSI. So I've got the throttle back at idle now. Uh, we'll try to crank it. So pump number one comes back on, which is the one without the low, uh, without the low pressure fuel filter, and we'll try to crank it. You can hear just a little bit, and that's, like I said, typically what I've been getting, and usually sometimes I'll see it spit a little bit of black smoke even before all this. I can try to crack the throttle just a little bit more. Come back in here, crank it again, and see what we get. Nothing. That's about it.